Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of FTB Regrowth. You guys remember last time we came to the spirit world and I said that I'm gonna do a lot of work in between episodes. I did not expect to be this much work when I started this. Um, the first day I ran around and well, I just started mining. Um, there's one pillar back there with a torch on top and then there's another one further that way on the ocean and well, I just started digging and trying to figure out, you know, what the different picks mining levels can get me. Um, and let me just talk you through the mining level progress I did on the pick. Um, well, I underground, you can find slate pockets and also grout, uh, which was nice to, you know, build the smeltery. The, the grout pockets or veins, whatever you want to call them, they aren't very big so um, it took me quite some time that's why I initially built a 2x2 two two and then just kept extending it uh, over time um, because I did a lot of mining but yeah we got the first day I built the smeltery and all these things over here and then I noticed all of a sudden um, well when I went on the ground first of all I noticed there's mobs um, I thought this was a peaceful dimension but it isn't and then I also got swarmed here once and killed when it started to rain. Um, I had mobs spawn in the uh, outside here. So and that's when I made this wall around here, just so you know you can build in peace in case it rains. And yeah, and I started with some basic crop. Well, the next day I started chatting uh, with uh, Minecraft mom and then also spoke with uh, War Power. Um, and Minecraft mom, you know, said, why don't we, you know, put together our uh, efforts and just try to get to this flow, what is it, brew of flowing spirits together. And that was a great idea. It was unbelievable how much grinding we needed to do because everything we tried didn't work. <laughs> um, I cannot figure out how to mine anything higher than tin. While redstone, I actually mined, um, it does say on the... On the redstone block, it requires mining level thaumium, but for some reason I was able to mine this with my bronze pickaxe. Um, but diamonds take steel, lapis takes thaumium, and gold takes thaumium. I don't remember exactly, but everything needs higher than what we have. So, well, that got me thinking, right? Um, I need to get rutile to start making titanium. That was the only way I could figure it out. Well, after an hour or something of diving out in the ocean, which, by the way, holds tons of clay. If you guys are looking for clay, there's tons out in the ocean. Um, I couldn't find any rutile. And then I checked the config. Rutile is not spawning, um, which I don't understand why, because it would be nice if we could, you know, progress with the mining level. But I, I don't know how to make steel without titanium and I don't know how to level the pick any further than we have it. So how I did it was first, you know, flint, then upgraded it to netherrack, then upgraded it to copper, then to iron and then to bronze. And in case you're wondering how I got the auto repair is that I found a mine shaft with a spawner. And I believe it's the same mine shaft that I found in the overworld. So I took that mossy cobble and made moss balls, one for the pick and one for the sword. Because I was mostly out um, farming um, essence dust. Um, while Minecraft mom did a lot of the grinding work, the boring stuff. I'm really appreciative uh, of what she did. She handled all the crop and she must have made probably, I'm guessing at least 100 mutandas, at least. We had the hardest time of getting birch, um, which we needed to make the altar. The altar needs the, one of these fumes that is from birch and we could not get it. But anyway, so we tried to figure out, you know, how can we make the kettle and so on ourselves? Well, the kettle requires, I keep forgetting what the name of this is, the Atune Stone. Well, that requires a portal to Alfheim. And we would have ground all that out if we could have figured out how to get diamonds for or lapis to make, you know, terra steel and so on. But we can figure it out. I don't think it's possible without doing the dailies 
and grinding and crossbreeding all the magical crops again and we said no that's just too much just to make a few brews so what we ended doing, up doing is doing the dailies for iron coal tin dye and copper and those you need to make the regular infusion stones so we were able to do the regular essences um so that one we needed to make that stone so we can make the blaze seed so we made the netherrack seed uh with a nether seed and the blaze seed so that's how we got up and the ender pearls we get from oysters there's another two right there there's one and there's one that is how we got our ender pearls um so we can make an eye of ender and you also needed ender pearls a few times to make uh, mana pearls for the runic altar and i think there was something else we needed it for anyway so we got everything done here grinded it out to make an ender chest the lava we made in the vat uh, the the obsidian and now we are able to make the ender chest and that is how i brought over the kettle and the spinning wheel so i believe this is a legit way of doing it um because well we did not use any you know um transport mechanics with like uh tinker's tool belt or whatever and i think there's a few other ones like with witching gadgets and so on where you can transport items across dimensions um it, they just felt cheesy to us we wanted to grind it out and get it done the proper way and we got it done and it feels really good it took a very long time two days that's why this episode is delayed because i wanted to get this done in case you're wondering where i got the wither skeleton skull and all the, uh, that's the wrong one and all this stuff look at this all these skulls and these fishing rods and books there is big kelp fields out in the ocean and when you dive around in those there's chests single vanilla chests and when you open them you find those and i also got some extra essences here like coal aluminum certus cords from down in that dungeon which was really helpful but it reduced the amount of dailies we needed to do we didn't need to do the one for coal and copper i believe yeah the other ones we had to do once so we can get the items to make that regular infusion stone i think i hope i explained this good enough um oh yeah we also tried that's why the crucible is here with fish food and uh, this was almost full with raw fish and i made all this fish food out of it and here's a bunch of fish that we wanted to start breathing there is a feeder out there just over there next to that island because we wanted to make the blaze fish well the blaze fish requires to be bred um, with a glowfish and the glowfish requires another fish um and i tried fishing in the lava and i couldn't get anything then i started looking on the on the interwebs and it explained that you can only catch that fish in the nether well so that path then also died and we're like yeah we we were almost ready to give up we could not figure it out until we like all right let's grind this out and that's what we did and it was it was fun so hope i explained it well enough if you guys have any questions if you're stuck on anything just ask away um and i'll try to explain it in the comments but now i think it is time that we make our brew of flowing spirits all right the first thing for that we need is uh a thread whatever it's called it's called the uh, fanciful thread and yeah um the altar by the way with this little stuff in the area we got up to 2352 um with the skull and the torch and the few trees that are here and that's all you need these two don't need as much to get it done and this is made in the kettle right yes just to want to make sure that i don't mess this up now well, let's dump all this stuff in here and it's turning into a nice green soup and let's scoop this up one two three we did it yay i'm so happy that this is done i already said yesterday that um when i'm done here i don't ever want to come back this this it was actually not too bad with uh with help of minecraft mom you know at least uh if i would have had to do this alone i think i would have lost my hair um but with help it was a lot easier so now that we have this quest done i want to turn it in in the um let's see here real quick what does it actually give us as a reward dun 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 How the world changes it gives us two more blues of flowing spirit now let's turn it in the overworld and i found out yesterday that 
when Minecraft mom did it and she left, she had those brews on her in the overworld. Uh, let's try it out. Eh. War Power is still sleeping here even though he's not on the server. Kind of funny when you log out, your, your body still stays here sleeping. Yep, we got the three spirits right there. Cool. Very nice. So, um... The quest book told us that if we put... I gotta take it out, you cannot read that in there. When you... Put this down here, let's see here real quick. Two blocks of flowing spirit, two wispy cotton, and the dream weaver. You have 100% chance to entering a dream, a good dream. Okay, cool. So I'd say we put these... Where are we gonna put these? Let's put them back here. I hope I'm not gonna punch war power in the face. <laughs> oh. Alright, looks good so far. Let's see if I can get this under him. I wonder if he's picking up the items. No, he's not. Alright, so I wanna put this down here. Right there. So I can put... Well, let's just put it first. So let's put this one right there. Well, that sucked. I wonder if I can scoop that up with the bucket. He's in my way. No, I can't. Hmm. I'm gonna, let's get rid of this one for a second. And see if I can land this one. Alright, this one I did. Alright, cool. And then, of course, I'm going to cover this up like that again. Bam. And place this here. And I'm just going to... Oh, I'm going to leave this the way it is. And then wait for War Power when he comes on later on. To place this a little better here. And I still have not turned in the quest. So I'm going to get another one. Another two. And I can place this right now. Can I push him out of the way? Alright, I'll worry about this later. Let me just leave this here. And let's turn in the quest. And I can leave the other two here also. I'll fix all that later. I don't think we need to go back to the dream world today. And we'll continue with the quests. Okay, I think that we're going to take a little break from Witcher here for at least this episode. And turn in a few quests that I have completed between episodes. And work on little armor and tool up or weapon upgrade i'd like to get this done here today um and i did off camera i ground out all these uh runes over here i made all those um at least once i think i needed something for a seed or something anyway and then i just decided to do them all um but they're not hard to do they're just well a lot of different parts and other runes you need to make for them and we're getting four full mana tablets, four fertilizer, and strong essences. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know if I did this on camera or not. I made a mana mirror. Um, what that does is it's the same as a band of mana, which I haven't used in a while because I've been using the mana mirror. So I don't need to charge this. Oh, yeah, I was using this because I had on the uh, this thingy right here. I made a brew of magma skin um i was doing a lot of work in the nether and i was tired you know of having to take fire assist potions even though i have them here i just wanted to have the constant protection so that is why i made that but yeah the mana mirror what that does is it ties you well it ties me to this mana pool right here that i added with another spark so this one is filled um and i can just you know have it tied to this and then you don't need to worry about running out of mana. That's what this is about. And it also allows me to have this unequipped. I don't need this on. Um, and I can put on something, for example, like the Ring of Chordata that I made that lets you swim underwater and see much better. And it gives you breath, so I don't need to snorkel and so on. So, um, where is my... This is right here, I think. Yes. Uh, it's been so long since I've been here, I forgot where everything is. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got this done, and we'll work on this in a second, but I got a few more quests to turn in um, right here. Bam. Got the Cobalt Seed, got the Ardite Seed, and got the Rutile Seed done. Now, it was really cool because um, Minecraft Mom doesn't like to go to the Nether, 
and I had so much other stuff to do that I didn't want to spend the time of making the seeds and upgrowing them, so we put our efforts together. I went to the nether a long mining trip and got all the ardite and cobalt that we needed to make the seeds and dropped it off with her and she returned me to those seeds which was really awesome um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and take these rewards and the same with the rutile seed I'm gonna take this so now all we're missing pretty much is um, things like wither slime ghast um, sulfur, certus quartz, and osmium. Oh, I, oh, this is the seeds and this is the actual metal. The osmium, now we got everything we need because we can, you know, make as many manillion blocks as we want. And I think I got quite a lot of osmium somewhere. Where's the osmium? I th did I not mine any of that? Apparently I haven't. Um, but the pick is now, of course, the manillium and also the scythe. So there shouldn't be anything I cannot mine anymore. So that's really cool. So we can finish up on those seeds here very shortly. And do I have another quest? No, all of them are turned in. So let's go ahead and... Oops, this one right there. Take a look at this. We need to make a Lamentium armor. And I would then also like to set up enchanting today. And a Terra Blade. So let's check here real quick. Because we also have a quest coming up where we need to kill a wither. So I figured, you know, it would be nice to have better armor for this. And a better sword. The scythe is really nice, but the sword is... Well, this is actually really nice with 16 attack damage. But the sword is just really cool because you shoot lasers. Now, where is it? I don't want to look it up by name. Come on. Don't nip me down. All right. Maybe I do have to look it up. Terra, there we go. Terra Blade. So we just need two Terra Steel and a Living Wood Twig. And I'm pretty sure that I don't have any more Terra Steel. Okay, so let's make two of these, two of these, and two of these. Let's make this real quick. All right, here's the part I don't like at all because you got to be so fast or something comes back at you or you don't hit the plate I, I can never get it right i don't know why Ooh, i did it twice in a row holy shnikes cool so let's go ahead and make that living wood twig bada bing and we got our terra blade very cool and now how much elementium do we have that is more than enough to make the whole armor set really cool so let's go ahead and make that. The chest. The booties. And the legs. Alright. Oops. Let's turn in the quest. And we got it all. And we get a flask of fortitude and a green heart canister. Now that is really exciting actually. Um, it's here. Let's put the green heart canister there. That gives us an extra heart now. And the Flask of 42 gives you resistance too, which I think is going to come in handy fighting the Wither boss, but I am not sure. So, we're going to have to go... Oh, man, we we are going to run out of room here soon. Um, bam. <laughs> He's sleeping in that goo. Ah, that's, that's entertaining to me. Alright, I'm going to put this gear on here. And we're going to put the witch's robes in here for now. So, this is all put aside. And now we're going to turn into a pink monster. Bam. The cool thing about this armor is that... I'm going to put this on for a while too, so you guys can see it. You see when you just attack, it gives you the screen laser. So you got a... Um, you got a ranged weapon built into your sword. And if we want to fight the uh, Gaia Spirit boss, um, or Gaia Guardian, I think it's called, it's a must that you have the sword. If you guys watched my... Wow, where did you spawn? But thank you for... I'm going to let him hit me once, guys, or a couple of times. You saw that? You saw that pink little wisp that came out? That's what came from the armor. Uh, when you get attacked, it shoots out these wisps that attack your target. So that's really handy. Um, we're really tough now. And let me just put away this head. I think I have it set up over there. Yes, I do. Okay. So 
that is that and now we're not gonna worry about this too much um elfin mana spreader i guess i could use that do we have any uh we do cool um let's see our elfin mana spreader i'm hoping it's the same way aha it's this with one elementium let's go ahead and make that i need six of you and do I have any mana pedal in here? No? Alright, so cyan it is. Let's go ahead and make this. Alright. Oh yeah, I just made this to Terra Steel. I'm like, why are my mana pools not full? I should probably put some in here. And let's go ahead and make this elfin mana spreader. And we are going to use that right there. Now I know there has been a fix in the newer versions of Botania. Or when you break a mana spreader, you get the mana lens back. But we don't have that yet, so make sure that you take off the mana lens first before you break a mana spreader. Or you will lose the lens. You won't get it back. So let's put this on here, and we're going to need our wand. And it's in bind mode, so let's bind this back over there. And... Do -do -do. Yeah, I think that for now, I'm just going to leave it on here because I don't know where to use it. And now we got the better mana spreader sitting there. And we get two more mana tablets. Wow, that's a lot of mana tablets we have now. Do we fit them all in here? Good. And now, what is the next one here? Bright Spark. Oh yeah, we got... I made a dominant um, the other day because I wanted to put it on here. But then I forgot that we already had four recessive on here. And if you put a dominant here, these will not talk together. Um, sparks will never talk with other sparks that have augments on them. So these can only talk to that one, that one, and these two because they don't have any. If I would put a dominant here, I would have to take the recessives off these sparks. So let's just finish this one also while we're at it. Why not? So we need a dispersive and an isolated. That dispersive takes water and the isolated takes air. Alright, so water and air. And do do do. Um, need two of you. And what is the other thing? Two mana steel, okay? Oh, I'm running low on mana steel. I gotta make another batch of this here soon. So we got this one and we got this one. Now the dispersive one is. Um, we can actually use the... I wonder if that works. What the dispersive one does is if I put it on a spark, it will charge all mana items on the player or on any player when they're nearby. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking that we're running out of room, but yeah, we're not. <laughs> and the isolated one, what that spark does, uh, what that augment does is it will not talk to any other sparks, period. So I could put this on here and this mana pool would never be touched from any other sparks. The only way the mana here would be called by is by this spark right there. It will still provide mana to um, functional sparks, I'm going to call this. This is like the, the cable for this setup. It doesn't store any um, mana itself. So that would be the only one that could get mana from this. Or if we have an enchanting, um, Botania enchanter, then it would talk to that one also. But I've never really used it. And we're getting eight, spark, 8 sparks and 64 Dreamwood. That's a nice reward. Don't mind getting that. Don't need you right now either. Okay. Now, I think we're getting... Yeah. Now is when we need to kill the Wither. So. Oh, that's cool. And we get... Oh, that's interesting. All right. Um... <laughs> Why don't we... Well, actually, let me check here first. If I have wither, I have three wither skeleton skulls. Why don't we do that today? I think that'd be fun. And we get it out of the way. And I'm going to see if anybody else wants to come along if they're on the same quest. And I'll tune back in once I found a good spot of where we're going to kill this boss. Because I want to make sure that we're far away because of the terrain destruction and so on. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we actually came down into that mine shaft um, there's this ravine and over there's the zombie spawner and there's I figured down here is better than in the nether or somewhere else because it's a little contained and he shouldn't be able or 
it shouldn't be able to fly around far. So let me go ahead and take... Actually, I can take this in a second. Let me put this down. There's one. No! I hate when I do that. Two. And really? <laughs> Why is it so hard to place these? Alright, let's take the flask. And the golden apple. And we're good to go. Let's kill this guy. The thing. I don't know if it's a guy or not. Come here, buddy. Ooh. Let me hit you. How we doing? How we doing? Just use the regen potion. Ooh, he's kicking the He's kicking me hard. Ooh, no 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 Ooh, I might die, I might die, I might die. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Before it's too late! Kill it! Food quick! Oh! <laughs> All right, let me get my stuff. I know it's actually an hour later now since that first wither kill, and you guys see I got two nether stars. Um, we killed the second one um, for Minecraft Mom's progression, and then when we were done, I noticed that my quest didn't complete. Um, so sh I'm guessing it's whoever gets the killing blow. So she must have gotten the killing blow twice. So I got the skulls together and killed a third wither then. So now I got two nether stars and two yellow hearts. And of course we got um, credit for that quest. Where was this again? Right there. So we're on the stage now. We got the killing here. And on the next one is it wants us to craft a beacon and then make Gaia pylons. But I kind of want to do this uh, the day that we're actually going to fight the guardian. Which we're going to do in one of the next few episodes but not today what I would like today is to do today is get a little tougher um, and I don't really want to make the terra steel armor at least not yet because it's gonna require a lot of mana and I might you know make uh, two three four terra steel at a time and then let this recharge and so on and you guys see I moved some things around here I moved the alpha portal over here because I want to get into um, Nice. When I start recording, the thunder comes out. I want to make the mana enchanting today, uh, the Botania enchanting. And I wanted to keep everything over here. Um, I do have a few plans on how to dress this up a little. Um, I have a lot, a lot of building to do, which I want to get done here like this week or next week and so on. Because it's been empty and barren like this for a long time. Um, and now that the witchy area is set up down there, I kind of know, all right, we just have Thomcraft left up here and then also blood magic. So I kind of lay, want to lay that out up here and then, you know, build the walls around it. But anyway, so I moved the Alfheim portal over here and I actually, well, you know what? We should probably try this here real quick if it forms. Yes, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, there is no, um... Um, overlapping items and stuff because that's what I'm worried about with the enchanting area over here. I'm going to leave this on for now so I can make a few more items here later. But um, when you check the enchanting layout, you guys see here, you're going to make the thing out of obsidian in the middle and then it shows you where to put these flowers and the mana pylons and that's what I have set up. Um, and you see that this is overlapping. I don't really want to move this mana pool. I want to see if it works. And well, nothing else is really in the way. And how this works is you got to put this uh, obsidian like this and then you place the flowers just like it tells you in the book. And then now we need to make, oh, I forgot to make those, six mana pylons. And we place these on top of these six flowers. Like that. I know it's pretty cramped, but I kind of like the idea of keeping this compact this whole area because well if you don't use it it's nice to have a little out of the way I don't think it's in the way of the portal area directly and I might try making this one one of the floating flowers I'm not sure yet um, but overall it might be cool to make these floating flowers but I don't know if it works so I didn't want to risk it just yet or if you need to have you know regular flowers 
And then the last thing we need to put in here is a lapis lazuli block. And then we hit this. Yes, it worked. Cool. So it does work even with this mana pool standing there and another spark. And now we need another spark. Let's get another spark here. We got plenty of those now. And place it on top. Oh, you got to shift right click. Because if you just right click, you're trying to place something on the altar. Or the mana enchanter. It's not an altar. Okay, cool. So now this should be hooked up to these four mana pylons. Uh, these four sparks right there. And probably also this one. Which is fine. Um, enchanting doesn't cost that much. So... Uh, but now comes the other test I want to see is if I put a regular enchanting table right here that should be the regular distance that you usually need or should I put it here let me see if I can put it in the middle here and if we still get 30 levels um, I'm gonna need something that you can enchant oh yeah I want to make an enchant but the books that's what I really want to do let's see if it gives us a level 30 option no, it only gives us 17. Okay, so I'm guessing that it doesn't count this one is too far away and this one is too far away. So I'm thinking that we need to put it right here. So this would be in range in this one. Yes, now we get level 30. Cool. So we can share these mana pylons. I didn't want to make extra ones just for that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is enchant my armor. Um with protection i want to get protection on all these four pieces this one here is quite useless the lure but what i want to do before i do that is i want to enchant a bunch of books because the thing is with botania enchanting is let me see here how many of these essences do we have these get you up to level 30 quicker than those essences these only get you up to level 30 and these over here you can keep going but we only need to get to level 30 do I have any of these ready? How many are in here? Oh, I got plenty. I got two stacks. So let's go ahead and eat a bunch of these. So I, And I believe I can just keep spamming and it's going to stop at 30. See, I cannot eat any more. So that's actually pretty cool. And now what I want to do is just enchant a bunch of books. Protection 3. Too bad. And um, let's do a few on camera. And then if we don't get what I want... I'm going to keep going until hopefully I get what I want. Level 30 wrecking. So that's from Railcraft. So these are gobbledygook up here. I'm going to keep the good stuff down here. Uh, what I would like to get is maybe something like Aqua Affinity or um, Feather Falling would be nice to get. Bane of Anthropods. And also what would be nice, some kind of a sharpness. Um, I would love to get that so we can also enchant the sword. So let me go ahead and enchant a bunch of books. I got tons of books and experience. And then if I get the books I want, then we'll go ahead and start enchanting. Now I'm only getting crap, uh, honestly. It's it's annoying that you get all these, a lot of these non-vanilla um, enchants, but you never get something that you can really use. I think the best one was the Hay 3 that, uh, where is it, Hay 3 right there. But I don't want to be any faster than I am already with um, the Sojourner's Sash. So we're just going to go ahead and only um, enchant protection on this. And I can never remember, but I'm just going to take off my Ring of Magnetization. So what you do is you right click the enchanter here and now you see the item on top. And then you just toss this book right there somewhere in the area and then when we right click this it's gonna start it's gonna suck mana over there you get this little animation and then it should be done right now that's it and then we can right click this and we see we got protection for in our helmet and let's do this for all of these real quick let me put these like that come on and we got the chest and legs and boots and i'm gonna keep going now that i have didn't i see sharpness three um do we have we don't have biblio we do hmm we could maybe make the printing press and the typesetting table and so on and then duplicate the sharpness book and then make two sharpness four and then combine those 
to make a sharpness 5 but um, we won't have time for that today so we'll get the protection going which is cool i'm happy about that of course i could just put the sword in there directly and then see if we get lucky um, with an enchant but this way it's just really nice all right pick this up let me put it back in here and now there's one more thing that i would like to do to get a little tougher here and that is i want to make use of these these hearts right here the two red ones i have either from the witch's farm or from just randomly killing i don't remember and we also have these miniature yellow hearts now when you make these heart canisters right here um these right there they give you one heart and it doesn't matter which ones you fill this is for the red this is for the yellow and this is for the green they always just give you one now the yellow ones I can turn into a green one which is must be new I've never seen that you can turn them into this and I can combine it with a red heart canister to make a yellow one or I can turn it into a yellow one a uh, red one I mean so that's what I want to do today so we can make four red heart canisters instead of just two yellow because it's gonna be four instead of um, two hearts right so and well we're gonna get more hearts over time anyway so that shouldn't be a problem and we need to make four of these empty canisters and we need to make four bejeweled apples or just jeweled apples and now we can make four red heart canisters which is really cool because now we get an extra four hearts that are gonna fill up here slowly on the bottom there we go so I'm gonna have altogether five extra hearts, which is nice. I think it is one per red. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, we'll see in a second. Um, so we got that. We I'm gonna keep using the scythe for now because I'm around the base yet now. You see, we got five extra because I can use this to harvest easier, and it's a really good weapon with the life steal and 16 attack damage. But I do want to pimp out that other one, the sharpness uh, with sharpness, and I don't know what else we can put on it um and let me think here i used the witch's oven finally uh, and moved it down here to this area and that is it so now here's the things that we are going to do here in the next few episodes i want to work on killing the guardian because when we get the gaia spirits we can get flight so that might be something that we are going to work on next episode this is going to be a much harder fight than the wither so i'm gonna look into more different flasks and so on maybe make them between episodes and let's see here the, we just need to make a few books for that and then after that i would like to start either with witchcraft circle magic or start going into a little more tech and then of course we also have uh bada bing bada bang Thumbcraft. We haven't started that at all yet. There's a ton of quests here. And Witchery, we, we have progressed pretty good so far. I'm, I'm really happy about that. And there's a lot of things I haven't done yet. Especially Circle Magic. And I want to start looking into that. But um, let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to work on next. Either continue with Witchery, start Thumbcraft, or go the tech way a little deeper. You know, so maybe we get more power and... We don't really have a lot of need for ores and stuff right now with all the magic, but eventually we want to go into the industrial age, of course. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to keep working on the base itself between episodes, get this little laid out so I get an idea, and then maybe dressing up this area because I don't think there's going to be any other items over here now. Oh, stuck on the chest. So that means that this area... Uh, uh, come on get up there it's pretty much done I, uh, there's no more the, the I might set up the the endo flames again somewhere here <laughs> it's getting really tight in this area but I like it it's all nicely tucked away anyways guys hope you enjoyed the episode and let me know down in the comments what you want us to do next and I'll catch you in the next one take care stay safe and bye bye